Bismillahirrahman Rahim. Uh, another very major direction of Islam, which is generally understood, has caused many misconceptions uh, regarding Islam and women. And that directive actually is that women need to seek permission of their husbands when they leave their house. Now, this actually is based on a narrative which, I'll, which I shall read out to you. This narrative is recorded in the Sunan of Bahaki and it is from Ibn Umar, a very famous companion of the Prophet. The words are, uh, Ibn Umar al-Nabi, anna imratan atathu faqalat ma haqqu zawj ala imratihi faqal. And I am uh, actually suppressing the words which do not relate to this, uh, to this uh, issue directly. And I am just reading out the words which directly relate to this issue. Uh, the words are La takhruj min baytihi illa bi iznihi. Ibn Umar reports from the Prophet that once a lady came to the Prophet and asked him about the rights of a husband on the wife. And among them, of course, uh, whilst narrating these rights, one of the things was that he said, she should not leave his house without his permission. In other words, the, the narrative explicitly says that a lady must seek permission or a wife must seek permission of her husband when she leaves the house. Now, in order to understand this directive, one needs to study some of the other directives of, is, of Islam given uh, regarding the social setup in detail. And only after uh, studying those directives well, will one be able to place this directive in its proper perspective. Now, Islam says that the basic building block of a society is a family. And a family, of course, comes into being by the union of a husband and wife. And in any place where two or more people live together or they live together in some bond, they have to have someone who is going to head that group or head that unit. Islam says that because of certain, certain factors, it has entrusted the husband the position of the head of the family. It says that men are temperamentally and physically more suited to this task and also they have been entrusted to earn for the family. And for these reasons, it regards men to be the head of the family. And as a result, Islam expects wives to be obedient to them. And the Quran says, Fasalihatu kanetad. Pious wives are those who obey their husbands. In other words, what is meant here is pious wives are those who are harmonious to their husband, who live congenially with their husbands, who do not create a situation every time that there is a difference of opinion. And on the other hand, Men also need to be to know this that exercising their rights every time some situation arises is not always the call of wisdom. It's not always the requirement of wisdom. One has to deal with one's wife in a very, very cogent, in a very, very wise manner, in a very sagacious manner, in which he tries to convince her, convince her that what what he thinks to be the right path. And of course, she has he has to accommodate the views of the wife also. It is only when there is a deadlock when there is a, a situation in which there is one cannot decide is are there are certain directives or there are certain issues in which the authority of the husband has to be followed amongst this amongst these of course is what we we are just studying and this is that a wife should not go out without the permission of the husband this directive of course does not mean that every time that a wife goes out she needs to ask permission of her husband it only means that there may be certain situations there may be certain instances in which the husband thinks that going out in a certain situation is, it is harmful in any manner for the family, for the society, for the wife, for the husband. And for, for, therefore, if he stops her from going out in, in those situations, of course, then the wife should listen to him. On the other hand, it should be clear to the husband that she cannot stop her from going out for her basic needs, for her basic necessities, and for all her rights or all her basic rights to acquire them. A husband cannot forcibly stop uh, his wife from in any way in which she has a very justifiable uh, means and a justifiable right to go out. In other words, what this narrative says is that in certain situations in which a wife may be going out and that going out could perhaps endanger the social setup of the family or cause some harm to the family, then in this matter the husband must be obeyed. So if we place this directive in its proper perspective, we come to realize that it is not that every time that a lady goes out, she needs to seek permission. It's only that in certain circumstances, when there's a deadlock, when the husband thinks that going out can in any way be harmful, that she should obey her husband. Akulo kali haza, wa astaghfirullah li, wa lakum, wa lisa'iril muslimina wal muslimat.